All right, we are looking at the hood of my 90 Mark III, and we're going to try some paint restoration. The clear coat is faded and oxidized on most of the hood, the roof, and the hatch. The fenders and doors are in better shape, still not great, um, so we'll touch those up too. But uh, I've got a new polisher that I'll be using that should make this job pretty quick. We'll start with rubbing compound, move on to polish, and finish it up with some wax. So let's see what kind of a difference we can make. I'll start on this side first. Got the, the tape in place to mark off the two sides. We'll give a nice stark contrast between before and after, which hopefully will be impressive. So let's get started. All right, so I've gone through around five passes with this, uh, maybe even more than five, maybe maybe I'm getting close to 10. Plenty of passes with <clears throat> this ultimate compound and I'm not quite getting the cut that I want. So I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna order some 105 from McGuire, so it's the most aggressive compound that they make. And I'm gonna use that. I think that'll cut through and get a much better shine. I'll get rid of a lot of that in just a couple passes, I think. Um, so I'm going to get that and do that on the rest of the hood. Some of the other parts of the car I can continue on with and I'll do that. Uh, but for the hood I think I really need that deeper cut to get through a lot of that oxidation. Um, even with a few passes here it's just not quite as clear as I want it. And I know when I move on to polish that's going to show up. So I want to make sure I've got a nice even uniform finish before I move on. And I think 105 is the way to do that. All right, here I'm going to give a demonstration of why I'm going to move on to a different cutting pad. The BMW flag in the background, it's not in focus now, but I'm going to move from here further down the hood and you'll see the finish that I'm talking about. Um, so this area up here is pretty good. I'm going to focus on the flag now. There you go. All right. So you can kind of make out the letters, not perfectly, but uh, reasonably well. Actually, here, let's... Get that focal length set. All right, so there you go. You can see the letters pretty well. And now I'm just gonna pan down the hood. And just right away, look at that. Look at that difference. So that's what I really wanna get rid of. And I think that's gonna be real noticeable when I move on to polish. So there, and then you can see that little area right there. That's a clear area. That's not so much, so. That's what I'm gonna try and fix. I think that Meguiar's M105 compound is gonna do a lot. That should get me there a lot quicker. Uh, doing the sides is easier if you wanna do a bunch of passes, but when you get to the center of the hood, you've gotta bend over the hood and it, it's a pain, literally. Uh, so I don't wanna go through another 10 passes to try and get that out. I'm gonna move on to a more aggressive compound and really get that looking nice. All right, we're back. Back with some Meguiar's 105, which is probably not in focus. Still not in focus, there you go. Meguiar's 105, uh, this is supposed to be a more aggressive compound, one of the more aggressive ones that you can um, get from Meguiar's, perhaps the most aggressive. So, let's see what this does at, uh, what this does when used 
on this area here. Again, right there, we've got a nice polished surface. Here we've got quite a bit of hazing left. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Let's see how it does. All right, I had some good luck on the hood with Meguiar's 105. Now we're gonna do the roof. See if we can get the same result. The roof is in a little worse shape. Um, I'll actually try and do some good close-up pictures of some of this stuff. It's not pretty, so let's see how good we can get. So let's pay close attention here. I'm gonna zoom in on one area with dead clear coat and see if I can get rid of that. Zoom in on you. That's as close as you get. There you go. So that right there is what we're gonna watch and see if I can get rid of that. I'm gonna do the whole panel, but keep an eye on that. All right, moment of truth. How'd we do? That was only one pass, I could do another one. Not too shabby. It's definitely still there. But, it looks way better. How about the rest? So we still definitely have some hazing up there. water spots, yeah, so you can tell, not great up here, but good enough, maybe so. I'm starting to run low on the compound, so I think I'm going to move on. All right, in this area, I can tell right here, this little patch is in really rough shape, so that's where I'm going to focus a lot of my energy. It, uh, it looks really poor. I'm actually going to swing the camera around. I think you can get a better angle from here. Maybe. Hang on. All right, there you go. How's that? Yeah. Look at that. Shit, hey. Still hazy, definitely hazy, and you can tell that in the camera. So we'll hit it one more time before I move on. I'm gonna give the back one more round, and that might be it. There's some areas here that I'm not going to be able to repair. Some of the clear coat is actually gone. There's exposed paint over here. So I know I'm not gonna get this panel perfect, but I'm just gonna hit it one more time and just take away some of the, uh, some of the rough material. Just because I'm I'm here, why not? All right. Well, there's that. Didn't clean up a lot of it, but a lot of that clear coat's gone. There's a, a bad patch over here that I can't repair with any amount of buffing. So that's about where I'll leave it. Overall, looks pretty good though. I'm satisfied with that. That's it for the rubbing compound, I think. All right, looking at the buffing guide from Chemical Guys, we started with yellow. That's what I used for all the heavy cutting. Uh, I'm gonna do polishing now with green, 
and then we'll go to black for our wax. I'm going to skip through these. If you're really dedicated, you could go through each step. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, this should give me a, a pretty good finish just by doing three of them. Uh, so let's do polishing now.